Hi, Ginger. It's Frank. We're going to pick up where we left off with the truss, which is actually a lighting position object. And we're going to make it so that we can turn on an instrument, uh, the beam, draw beams feature for that instrument. So the first thing is to uh, use the instrument insertion tool, bring up the resource browser, control R if you, uh, if you have it um, uh, on your Windows machine. Now I'm going to uh, pick an instrument, go to Vectorworks Libraries, and uh, pick an ETC, uh, let's say source for 26 degree. I'm going to dismiss the helpful dialog box, zoom in, close this re resource browser, and with the instrument insertion tool, click once to set the location, once to set the rotation. In this case, I'll make it straight. This is now an, a lighting device. So the lighting device uh, is created because I uh, use the instrument insertion tool with that symbol. Okay, it has these uh, these extra uh, graphics attached because it's using the the label legend. The label legend comes because I opened up this document, untitled document, but it's uh, I was it was open when I used new, and the create use. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry. The create document has this option to use document template. And the document template for Spotlight Imperial is in this list. That's what you should use. Okay, I'm going to cancel that because I'm already here. Now I'm ready to uh, create a um, focus point. Click up the focus point tool. Click once to set the po focus point. It gives me the option. I've clicked once. It gives me the option to give it a name and a focus height. Focus height is the height of the uh, of the uh, the head. Head height, standing eye, uh, eye height, is about five feet. Uh, you can give it a name or a letter, or you can give it both. I'll give it A1. Click OK. There's my A1 point. I can control the look of it with this pop-up in the Focus Point Object dialog box. I mean, uh, sorry, in the Object Info Palette. So it's an 8-foot circle at the moment. We'll keep it like that. Now the last thing to do, connect these two by selecting the, uh, the instrument, and you can either type in the focus here, or if you don't know what it is, or you want to make sure your spelling is correct, you can choose Spotlight and um, Focus Instruments. That gives you the list, and you just click on it. In this case, there's only one. Click OK, and now it's been typed in for me. You can type it in yourself. Now, Draw Beam will work, and uh, and uh, behavior that we looked at before. Oops, I'm gonna undo that. The behavior that we looked at before, where you can move the object. Uh, focus point, and you'll see that that uh, the beam follows it. Right below, it looks like a perfect circle. Off to the side, it looks like a little bit more elongated because it's following the look of the uh, the uh, the calculation of the, the beam shape in in space. If you go to 3D, you'll see that it works there as well. And um, uh, of course, you have to put this in at a at a particular height. I'll put it at 20 feet. And uh, it still is, uh, is, is going to work just fine. Now I'm going to select that same object and move it around, and it will follow. Okay, That should get you set up for the draw beam. Let me know if you have any questions.